most critical skills to develop if you want to succeed during and beyond your education. There are a lot of essential skills, but From Nesta Wings believes the most important pairing of skills is fortitude and resilience. Hi, I'm Margaret Meek, and this is how to develop your ability to keep moving forward despite obstacles in your path. We have all faced times when we have felt hopeless, unworthy, invisible, or beaten down. We have been convinced that everyone else has it together except us. Or we have felt as if the stars are aligned against us. You're not alone. The last few years have been rough. Students have directly confronted impediments and isolation, leading many of you to believe that your dreams or goals are unattainable. Those are honest feelings that become your starting point for building yourself back up for building your resilience and fortitude skill levels. Fortitude is showing determination to move through a problem. Resilience is demonstrating the emotional capability to keep those problems from stopping you in your tracks. To be successful, you need to develop both of these skills in tandem. Together, they allow you to keep fighting through issues and finding solutions that keep you moving toward happiness. Whether you need to overcome a family situation that makes you feel lesser than, fail a test, realize that you are pursuing the wrong major or in the wrong school, or are interacting with the wrong group of people, resilience, coupled with fortitude, will lead you to success. They will help you find someone who can support you as you work through your family issues and move into a more favorable situation. Learn from your low score or what you need to study in order to be successful in the future. Research a new major. Find a school that better matches your needs and the process to transfer schools. And begin the process of cutting negative relationships out of your life. Open yourself to new opportunities for acquaintanceships and create friendships. So why do we call fortitude and resilience skills? We do so because we believe you can get better at each with work. To build your resilience and fortitude, you must practice, practice, practice. You must recognize those times when you just don't want to or think you can't and then take the next step forward. That isn't always easy, but it is essential. Here are some thoughts to keep in mind. First, recognize that the world isn't keeping track of you and your foibles. Don't let your fear of being seen stop you. Remember, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Eleanor Roosevelt said that and it is one of the greatest quotes of all time. If you want to feel bad about yourself, no one can stop you. If you give yourself grace and believe the best, no one will be able to get in your way. Don't actively choose to be your own worst enemy. That is resilience. Next, break down the task you have in front of you. Once it is in parts, you can prioritize what needs to happen first and focus on that one task, just that task. By keeping the bigger picture in perspective, you can progress by completing one objective at a time. As you accomplish that objective, take pride in that triumph. Remember this physics lesson. An object in motion tends to stay in motion. Take a step in the direction that you wish to pursue and keep going. The first step may be the hardest and the biggest, but it starts the motion. That is fortitude. When you stumble or make a mistake or disappoint yourself, take a step back. Figure out what went wrong, figure out how to avoid that same blunder the next time, and then move forward. If you aren't making mistakes, you aren't human. You aren't trying. Letting your gaffes stop you from moving forward is self-defeating. It is the most effective way for you to limit your own opportunities. Look for the good. Practice being positive. Look around you and take note of everything that brings you joy. Some of the most significant barriers to being resilient are in our perceptions of ourselves. A lack of confidence, a fear of ridicule, believing our lives are tied to unrealistic expectations, or feeling overwhelmed. Changing our outlook, attitudes, training levels, and willingness to ask for assistance from others can help us all become better able to develop the necessary skills to take on the small and large challenges that pop up in our road to success. To have fortitude and resilience, you must exercise other objectives. Begin with self-care. 
Getting sleep, exercising, staying hydrated, and eating well are critical to having perspective on anything happening in your life. Prioritize taking care of yourself. Practice self-awareness. Try to recognize and manage your responses to your environment. Listen to yourself, both the verbal and nonverbal messages you are sending to yourself and to others. If you find you are constantly sending negative messages, you're going to feel lost. You have to retrain your mind to minimize the negative and to look for the positive. Create a roadmap for your future. You may have occasional detours, but you will never get there if you don't know where you're going. Organizing the plan for the larger picture in your life is essential. But don't forget that you need to do the same for your day-to-day life. Break it down and stay focused. What class do you need to study for today? Do that. Then take on the next task. Ask for help. None of us get through this life without assistance. Locate the people in your life that you trust. Talk to them. They don't have to be people who have the answer. They need to be people who will help get you to the resources that you need. If you're having relationship, family, or self-perception issues, and the only person in your school that you trust is a teacher, advisor, or counselor, go to that person. Let them help you trust the people who can provide assistance. The same goes for family members, people at work, or church. Allow people to invest in you with their time, energy, ideas, and listening skills. You are worth their time and attention, and they are worth your trust. We have all heard the phrase, if you first you don't succeed, try, try again. That is fortitude. Grit is what will make you a success in your education and your life. Keeping problems in perspective and not allowing your emotions to keep you from moving forward is resilience. Fortitude and resilience work hand in hand. Fortitude allows you the strength to overcome the issues and resilience keeps you from feeling overwhelmed or overpowered by those issues. Together, they will enable you to keep moving forward and to see life as a series of opportunities rather than a mountain too tall to climb. As you become good at overcoming challenges, life will continue to present hurdles, but with each time you exercise fortitude and resilience, you become stronger. And if you found any of this information useful, please hit the like button, or perhaps consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below.